hello, this is Peter with PM Designs. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can um, get our get hair UV unwrapped so that the flow of the hair is all in one direction, so we don't have this this horrible mess at the back, as you can see. Um, so I'm just working on this kind of caveman-looking guy who's got no eyes. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to hide him just to make it easier, and I. I've got this hair image. I can't remember where I got it from, to be honest, but I've had it for a long time. But yeah, it's quite nice, and I've just changed the color. Um, I can actually just show you the shader I've got set up. It's pretty simple. Um, so I've got the image of the hair in here, and I've got a contrast to just change it into black, just to adjust the color however you want. If you wanted to change it to a different color, you'd probably want to add a hue or sa hue slash saturation node. But anyway, and I've got some bump in there. And then I've just got, I haven't done, well I've done a bit with this, but I need to change that, it doesn't matter. And I've got the UV going in here. So because I'm doing it from the UV. So we'll go back into my UV editing. Um, and I can, right, so I've done this one, but I want to do this one next. I want to have it all lined up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go underneath. You don't have to do this because um, it's underneath, but it's, you could just select the whole outer layer and do that but I'm going to add a seam in here okay I'm going to press L on that one to select linked that's not even the right one let's do this one uh, is it this one yeah let's do this one first yeah that one I'm going to press U and unwrap and then it's going to come up on the left hand side hopefully if my computer doesn't explode because I'm rendering something else at the moment. Okay, so I've got all of this here. Just to make it easier to start off with, I'm just going to rotate it. Oh, my computer is so slow at the moment. Rotate it that way. And put it roughly on one side. Doesn't matter which side you want to start from. Okay. Oh, is it there? Okay, let's bring that down a little bit. When you're in, if you, if you haven't used UV in before, when you're on the image editor side, there's only Y and X. There's no um. No Z. Let's turn on my screencasts. Okay, keys. Right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the overlay here so I can see what's actually happening. Um, so I click two, so I can now select the edges. I select this edge, and Control click this edge down here. You know, I could Alt click. This is what happens if you Alt click though. It goes around the whole edge. So I just want this one down to here. I'm gonna bring that across G and X. Sorry, my computer is very slow at the moment. G, X. Bring that across over here. And I'm just going to straighten that up when my computer catches up. Um, I could do that. There's two ways you could straighten it up. You could press S, X, and then 0. And then press Enter. And I'll show you the other way in a second. Um, and then I'm going to grab this next one. Oops, let's get in here a bit closer. I'm going to grab this this edge here, and I'm going to grab this edge here because my hair is joined at the tip. So it, that's what's happening there. G and then X, bring it across just a little bit. And uh, this is the other way to make it straight. Right click and go align X. It will make it straight on the X. And I'm going to bring it over a little bit to make some nicer squares. Okay. I'm going to choose any one of these squares, doesn't matter, which whichever one is most square. I'm going to align this on the Y, or I could do S, Y, 0, align it on the Y. And then switch to face select, press 3, click on this one, and then press L, and it'll select the whole thing, and then right click, follow active quads. And when my computer catches up, you can see now all of this hair is flowing in the right direction. And don't worry about the mess down the bottom, that's just the... Um, the tip but you know no one really cares about the tip and I just want to make my hair a little bit thicker each strand a little bit thicker so I'm going to size it on the X and get something like that so there you go that's how you can and so you can also but you can use this for other things if you you know whatever you do to this um, unwrapped UV will not affect this UV over here it's still the same shape but it's just it just makes it easier for straightening these up so you can just make one square and then click all of them to say follow active quads. So if you found that useful, please drop a like. Thanks very much.